Throughout many presidential administrations, politicians, educators, and parents bring up concerns regarding the current education system. Not until the past 20 years has the government addressed these issues publicly and attempted changes have been made. The ongoing changes in the school system are causing a huge dispute for the parents and guardians of students who need a consistent and reliable education across the country. But what exactly are these educational issues the government attempts to fix? The government plays a huge role in how the education system runs, but does not hold the proper accountability needed. I think that um, parents, teachers, administrators and government should all have equal parts in the accountability of the schools and the um, assessment. The government has proven to supply a low amount of funding in the public school systems. I think that if um, the government doesn't start um, put, putting the funding needed into education that it will continue to, to decline. The lack of funding the government hands out forces schools across the country to cut out elective classes including art, music, and drama. Walking down a school hallway, people will notice the halls displaying the artwork of children that depict different mathematical equations or a diagram of the earth. The halls may be covered in color, but the expression of individuality is lacking because of the guidelines the government pushes upon teachers. Implementing the Common Core state standards have received mixed responses from teachers on the outcomes and benefits of the new curriculum. Some teachers believe Common Core does not prepare students for their future. Critics say many curriculum materials don't line up to the Common Core, and there's skepticism about the extent to which the standards truly impact student achievement. Other teachers think Common Core is an equalizer amongst education throughout the country. When I began teaching, there wasn't a curriculum for teachers to follow. It was pretty much a hodgepodge of teach whatever you want. But when the Common Core came along, it provided a curriculum that teachers across the state could follow. And we knew we were teaching similar content, if not the exact same content. So I think Common Core is a good thing. With the limited disciplinary action on part of the schools, teachers and administrators are less accountable regarding behavioral issues. The lack of discipline has resulted in mayhem in the classroom, restricting the education and learning of students in the class. Teachers are losing quality educational time because they are having to deal with constant behavior issues. Students have voiced their opinion on the different educational issues they believe need to be resolved. Stop putting our children in like machines. Stop taking the creativity out of school. Education systems in most of America are not working and are not geared for the children of today. The same way they were taught 50, 60 years ago is still how it is today. With the new appointing of the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, Teachers are skeptical on how these educational changes will be acted upon. Many educators object to her experience and background in dealing with the educational changes. The complaints of teachers are resulting in many protests and riots mobbing DeVos to showcase their disapproval and their desire for more change. Throughout the past couple of years, the future of education has become hazy and more and more demands have been placed on teachers. Young adults are realizing the struggles of teachers and are not considering teaching as a career. We're going to see a lot of students want to take part in education if they don't start um, putting a good salary on the education because it does take a lot of um, demands on teachers and it takes a lot of uh, work to do, and I don't think teachers are paid what they need to be paid. Although teaching can be a job full of stress, there are many rewarding benefits of watching students grow and learn. Um, they need to have a true love of children and really be dedicated to want to do education. In order for these educational issues to be resolved, 
It is essential for the government to pay attention to the begs and calls of students, teachers, and administrators. A proper education is essential for the future of children across America, and the government needs to recognize the faults in this system and prepare students to be the new tomorrow.